I was not expecting for my next YouTube video to have my short hair. I actually filmed this video a few days ago and I filmed the try on haul and the actual video itself and when I watched the video back the quality just wasn't great. I don't know if it's because it was kind of getting dark and the lighting was a bit off but I was just not really happy with it so I'm refilming the actual video now and it's a few days later but I actually got my hair done yesterday. The try on clips I filmed a few days ago when my hair was longer so my hair will look very different in the try on clips to right now. I kind of wish that I'd had a few days to kind of like play around with it because you know when you get a new hairstyle I feel like it takes a good few washes and like dries and like styling attempts to actually figure out like how to style it and obviously this is quite different to what my hair was like before my hair was so long and it was kind of easy to style it's kind of funny because i got my hair done late last night and when she kind of like finished with my hair she's like do you want me to style it and usually she's she's so good i say usually she's so good at styling hair but it was like 9 p.m at this point and i've not eaten in like six hours my priority was getting home and getting some food so i was like no 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 like you can just leave it straight and i'll try and style it like today for this video and honestly i regret that so much because i have no idea how to style my hair right now anyway hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here then welcome i think this is probably like my 10th video now which i'm actually kind of proud of i thought i would try something a little bit different for this video so as you can probably tell from the title i'm going to be doing a how to dress expensive save on a budget. I always see a lot of Instagram reels and TikTok videos and they're always sharing like tips and tricks of how to look expensive and I feel like it's usually kind of like make sure you invest in your denim, make sure that your hair and that your makeup's done nice. In this video I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to show how you can build your wardrobe and kind of like recommend key pieces that I feel like are essential for the more like sophisticated classic look. And of course on a budget, I am not trying to spend any more money than I usually would. I'm just trying to look expensive. They're all high street and as always, I will leave the link to everything in the description below. For reference, I am five for eight and I'm a UK 10 on top and a UK 12 on bottom. My style has definitely changed this year. I usually like wearing kind of more like casual, oversized, pieces my boyfriend always jokes that I literally wear like three different prints and seven different colors in one outfit because that's just the way that I like to dress but more recently I've been enjoying experimenting with more kind of like classic pieces and just generally dressing like a little bit smarter I mean there's definitely times when I still go out in a tracksuit and crocs so this is definitely not all of the time just sometimes I just want to feel a little bit more put together and I have been getting comments and messages on my Instagram about this kind of like new style and I figured that maybe other people are kind of like moving more towards the style I don't know if it's because we had like the old money quite luxury trend in summer and this is kind of like moving into winter but I just figured that maybe other people are going through like the same thing and that's kind of the reason why I wanted to do this video so the first look to kickstart this video and one that I've been really enjoying is this black like super minimal outfit so I'm wearing this black long sleeve maxi dress from boohoo i actually got this last year and i've had so much wear out of it there are a lot of black long sleeve maxi dresses out there like this but i feel like there's a certain like few things that kind of like separate them and for this one it fits so well it fits quite tight but not so tight that I can't walk properly in it or it looks uncomfortable. It also has quite a high neck, which I always go for and I feel like it does look a little bit smarter. Quite like this one. I don't know why I'm moving my hair out the way, like there's anything there. It also has like a really fine rib knit. Some of the more like jumper dresses have like a really thick rib knit, which looks more like a jumper to me and I feel like it looks a lot more casual. So that's just something else to bear in mind. And I just threw this black wool coat over from ASOS. I also picked this up in a UK 12. I actually ordered this coat for this video and as I was kind of like styling it with a few different outfits, like I realised how versatile it is. I would definitely 100% say that this is a staple for a more sophisticated, expensive looking wardrobe. I don't know if you can see in the try and clip, but I also paired it with some 
pointed toe heels from Zara. They are real leather. I'm not sure if they are still in stock. I will have a look and if they are, I will link them below because I have had so much wear out of them. I've worn them during the day. I've worn them for dinner. I've even worn them at work. And I just feel like the shape of this heel just makes it look so much more expensive. This wasn't meant to be part of this video, but I would always recommend a pointed toe. I think they elevate your outfit so much more, whether you're wearing like a dress or trousers and you've just got like the pointed toe peeping out. I think when you're kind of wearing like more square or like round toe boots, they're definitely a bit more casual. Like I said about styling the black wool coat, I actually tried on like so many different outfits with this coat and I also wanted to show you this outfit. So I wear this type of outfit so often and I swear by this style for making you look more expensive. So it's basically a black top or black jumper, black coat, like basically black everything and then some white or neutral colour trousers. So I have on a thick rib knit from Topshop with a roll neck. I personally think that a roll neck just elevates an outfit. I also have my white oversized trousers on from Miss Pap. I actually bought these a few months ago and I got them in black as well. And I have had so much wear out of them. And I've also added the Zara pointed heel. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the try on clip. I would definitely recommend playing around with this style. Like I said, it doesn't even need to be white trousers. It could be more of like a neutral colour or it could be a midi or a maxi skirt. I actually think the next outfit is based on this as well. This outfit is a little bit different because I've paired it with a black blazer. This also is a wool blazer. It's also from ASOS and this again is kind of like a staple that I didn't realise that I needed. I have a lot of linen, like more textured oversized blazers and this is the first wool blazer that I have ever owned so again I have on the thick rib knit from Topshop do you see how versatile like all of these pieces are I have the wool blazer from ASOS and I've paired it with my gold like champagne satin skirt from Miss Pat and again I'm not sure if you can see it in the clip but I have paired it with my trusty Zara pointed heels I'm not really one for mixing black with like bright colours but if that's your thing then I feel like you could definitely experiment with like red or like green or blue like whatever your vibe is. I already showed you the all black fit but I wanted now to show you an all white or like all cream fit because I feel like all black is such a classic don't get me wrong and I am the first person to wear all black I feel like it's so easy like if you just don't really know what you're feeling so I have on a thick cream knit from Boohoo this is actually really nice because you can't really tell from the try on clip but the shoulders have like quite big um padding in them which again i feel like that structure just kind of like elevates an outfit and it's funny because when i actually tried it on with my boyfriend he said the exact same thing like i did not realize how observant he was but he was like yeah i really like the shoulder pads like it makes you look so much fancier and i just threw on this cream colored maxi coat from miss pap it is actually a uk 16 i think it's from the curve range so it's a couple of sizes bigger than i would normally get but i really like the way it fits it doesn't look like it's too big and it's a really nice length i paired it with these white pointed toe boots from plt if you watched my last haul where i mentioned that i'm trying to stay away from plt i actually ordered these boots last year these are not a new purchase the only thing that i think would make this outfit better is if the hand bag was a white Chanel but that is not the point of this video we are doing this on a budget and I also don't have a white Chanel so the last outfit that I wanted to show you is quite similar to the previous outfit but I just wanted to contrast how the outfit looks so different with a blazer as opposed to a maxi coat but this is kind of more wearing different shades of the same color which I think is another really good way to make yourself look more expensive I personally prefer outfits like this because I am so nervous wearing white or cream outfits like I am not that kind of girl who can go out in those colors and come back without a stain like that is not happening so the blazer I would say is more of a sage color and it is also from ASOS in a size 12 again I also paired it with my white pointy toe boots from PLT and I also wore it with my Louis Vuitton clutch like I said, I wanted a few different shades in this outfit. So you've got the white boots, the beige coward, the sage blazer and a brown bag. I'm not sure if they're the same colour palette, but I would say that the shades are really complementary. And I obviously have my brown nails as well, which definitely need doing. This 
is not how to look expensive because these are clinging on for dear life and that is the end of my how to dress expensive on a budget video i really hope you enjoyed this video and please do let me know if you enjoy this style where i'm kind of like giving advice and like tips and things like that i do have a few ideas on some kind of styling videos like coming into the party season but yeah let me know as always thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you've made it to the end of this video and i really hope to see you in my next video